welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very awkward corner of my house. Now, what am I doing with a giant tripod, my camera and two huge lights in the smallest corner of my home? I'll tell you. Today, we are reorganizing my linen closet. This cupboard is in the stupidest spot. The door opens this way and then this door opens this way to the rest of our house. I hate it so much. We're going to get rid of this door eventually and then we'll only have this one so it won't we won't have like this issue <laughs> anymore which is going to be great it's an absolute disaster in there so this is a very necessary task before we jump into this giant mess i'd like to remind you to please hit like on the video today if you enjoy it and please consider subscribing if you'd like to show me some support now let's take a look at this mess okay <laughs> So up the top here, we have sleeping bags, a sleeping bag that's not packed into its bag, and I believe this is an extra doona that my parents gave me. Down on this shelf, we have another doona, a bath mat, face washer, beach towels, a quilt, normal towels, just a general mess. Down here, we have some sheets in a vacuum bag that isn't vacuum bagged. <laughs> More towels, bath mats, towels, and that kind of thing. And then down the bottom, this is empty. And then we have more beach towels, more random towels, a pet towel <laughs> that Frost used when she was a puppy, and some more hand towels and stuff. So this is the disaster that we are dealing with. nice <laughs> this has obviously been left from the people before us this is like the stuff that they put on the ground to hold the carpet down I think because it's got all the nails and stuff lovely that can go in the bin okay so my first step is to take everything out of each shelf decide what we want to keep what we want to donate and what things I want to keep in this cupboard. Let's do it. Okay, that's that first, oops, I just broke that. That's the first shelf. I know I'm gonna keep the sleeping bag somewhere else because I want to start like a camping stuff area. And this uh, doona I'm gonna put in the spare bedroom because I wanna put it on the spare bed. So there's no point keeping it in here when I'm going to end up using it. So that's the first shelf done. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I want to show you how they've painted in here. It's awful. They... <laughs> oh god. Well, this place is definitely interesting. Okay. Can you hear the dogs? They're like wrestling outside. Okay, so I'm in the dining room now. I've put things in piles. I have beach towels and I know we have way more of these because Evan is a swimmer so he's probably got like six in his car. We have two purple towels, a bunch of hand towels, bath uh, floor mat thingies, um, a set of towels, a random grey towel and some blankets and sheets and stuff down there. So now I'm going to organise it and see what I want to keep and what I don't. Okay. 
So I have a vague kind of understanding of what we, what we have here and what I want to keep. A lot of this stuff I want to donate because either I've had it for ages or Evan's had it for ages and it's just time for something new and these things could go to someone who needs them. So a lot of things I'm going to donate. I've kept most of the hand towels. Uh, I've kept all the beach towels because like I said, Evan's a swimmer. He uses them all the time. We need them. I've kept two bath mats here because we have two currently in each bathroom. So then we have one that is gonna be used and one for a spare when we're washing. I'm going to keep the purple towels for dog towels. And yeah, so let's get back to the cupboard and clean it out. Okay, so now that I've taken everything out and I'm in the process of organizing, I'm going to wipe down all the shelves and then I'm going to bring all the baskets I've bought in and cross my fingers that they fit. Okay, I've got them all. All right, moment of truth. Mm, that is a bit tighter than I thought it was gonna be, but they do fit. My only concern is if they're full of stuff, are they still gonna fit? Let me just pan you down a bit. Oh, that was my phone. I've got nine of these ones, three of those across the top, and then down the bottom, I've got these two. One. Two, huh, awesome. They do fit in there nicely. So they all fit quite nicely and that looks so much more organized. I need to get some scissors to cut all those little plastic bits off. Also, we are going to be getting a door handle at some point. Okay, so we have nine of these darker baskets that I want to hold like the bulk of our towels and sheets and hand towels, that kind of thing. Because there is so many of them and that's the stuff we have the most of, that makes sense to me. Down the bottom, we have two of these baskets. My idea with these ones is to fill it with the stuff that we buy in bulk. So my idea is toilet paper in one, paper towel in the other. So that way we have easy access to those things when we need to restock them because there's really not a good place anywhere else in the house for those things to go. So these will be the solution. Up the top, I have these three white rope baskets. They are gonna stay empty for a while because I'm not quite sure what I want to do with them yet, but for now they're just sitting up there looking nice. <laughs> so in terms of labeling, I've got these from Kmart. They just like hook onto the side of the basket and they've got a little white bit of card in there. I haven't decided if I want to use the white or if I want to chop up some brown and use brown. Um, but either way, I'm possibly going to use these stamps for the nice lettering to put things on here, but I'm not sure if they will be too, like if these will be too small or the letters too big. That's the same thing. I will show you what these look like on the basket. Cute. There we go, they look really cute. They sit like perfectly in between the handles, so it's gonna work really well. I think I like the white, so I'll probably keep the white. All right, I have two more packets, so I can put them on the rest of the black baskets, but I will need to buy more of these because I didn't plan for the fact that there was gonna be more than just the black baskets. So I need to buy two more packets so that I can have some on the top and the two down the bottom as well. For now, I'm just gonna label a couple because there's only a couple of baskets that I have plans for. The rest of them are just gonna stay empty. So let's put these on. Okay, so that's all the labels on. Like I said, I need two more down the bottom and three more up the top there. But for now, I can start putting some stuff back in. Okay, so at this point I have our towels in here, hand towels in the middle, guest towels in this one. I have bath mats in the middle down here. These two are both empty still. Down the very bottom I have 
dog towels. In the middle I have the swimming towels and then on the end I have beach towels. And right down the bottom I have toilet paper and paper towel. So I'm thinking I will either do sheets in these two or sheets in these ones up here. I'm not sure yet. I'm only just realizing that these shelves, like they haven't painted these ones. Oh, this place is so weird. I'm gonna trial stamping the letters onto one of these. Come to the floor with me. <laughs> I think this is probably one of the longer ones. So it does technically fit on there. I would need to be a bit more careful. Um, but it looks kind of cool with some of the square behind it, but it's not as clear to read. So that's the, that's the main problem, but it fits. So yeah. Okay. So it does look quite cool if I could get it to be clearer. I think with the square behind it, it kind of takes away from what the letters actually say. So it's, it's hard to read. I love how you spell towels. You know how when you write something and look at something so many times it just looks wrong? That does not look like how you're supposed to spell towels. But it is because I googled it. Let's try another one and see if I can get it a bit cleaner. So that does look a bit better. My brain just had the thought that I can just stamp it in the ink and then wipe all the square off. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but obviously. <laughs> so that's the first one I've done with the like wiping method. You can still see tiny bits from the background, but I feel like that looks way better. But I don't think these are what I'm going to keep on there forever. It's just for now while I'm figuring it out and organizing it. And then eventually I'll have a different way of making labels and stuff. So I'll do that. But for now, this is fine and it looks a lot nicer than my handwriting would. So so there we go, these are the aftershots of my linen cupboard makeover. This is so much better. It is so much more organized and it is way more aesthetically pleasing than the giant pile of things that it was before. And on top of that, this is gonna help me make sure that I don't build up an excess of stuff again, which is great. Today, guys let me know what you thought of this makeover in the comments down below I am obsessed and it's only gonna look even better once we've painted the cupboard so please consider subscribing to my channel if you'd like to see more of this kind of content or hit like on today's video if you liked it and I'll see you guys next week with another video bye guys Hello. Oh. Hi. Oh, God. Hey, hi. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Should we go outside? Ew. What did the dogs do to my shirt? <laughs> oh, my God. I wasn't even filming. <sighs> or hit like on the today. <laughs> I didn't take a photo of the before. Mm.